Hello boys and girls, my name is White Rhino PSO, and today I am playing more of the original Duke Nukem. So far, Duke has put a stop to the evil Dr. Proton and his army of tech bots on Earth, and then again on the moon. This time, however, episode 3, Trapped in the Future. Again, Duke foiled the mad plans of Dr. Proton. His secret lunar fortress now wrecked, Dr. Proton has transported himself back to Earth and used his time machine to hide in the Earth's future. There he will once again create a huge army of tech bots that will allow him to control the world. Of course, Duke will not stand for this, and although he'd rather watch Oprah, he heads off to stop Dr. Proton one more time. Now, I swear, this is not the first time I've seen an old DOS game make reference to Oprah. But uh, I really don't know how interesting of a show that used to be back in the day. Anyway, let's get started. Now that I've warped to Earth's future, Duke the Fluke cannot stop me. I need to find Dr. Proton's time machine or Earth is doomed. In previous episodes, this was the two of them actually talking to each other, so it's kind of weird that they're both side-by-side side just talking amongst themselves. And uh, unlike the previous set of videos for episode 2, um, where I had some sort of m mistake happen that required me to re-record most of it, uh, this is my first time going through... Uh, I probably could have made that. This is my first time going through these videos, uh, these levels. Damn it. So I don't actually know anything of what I'm going to be dealing with here. back down to just the one that that's it okay that is probably the easiest first level I've ever done in a game uh, looking at my timer here it looks like I finished that level in about a minute and a half you're about to enter the next level be sure to save your game let's see if I can remember how to do that there we go the game is saved uh, let me get away from these annoyingly loud energy beams. Now, I don't know if the theme here suggests that... Ah, shit. What is with all the death beams? That's the way I came. Very sorry for the loudness. Oh, that's better. Damn it, there's another few. And... That's death. Well, that's pain, at least. Um... Oh, that is so much better. So much quieter. Anyway, I don't know if the theme is that in the future he has already started destroying things enough that, uh, because there's like cracked wall sections and such. Can I? There we go. Um, there's sections of wall that look like they've already taken some damage. I was hoping for a, uh, another gun power-up, but it looks like no. No. 
Oh. All right, taking out some more helicopters, which are thankfully at least a little bit easier to deal with in this level. Sorry for the loud. Alright, that turned those off, which is nice. I wish this game had a uh, look up and look down function. Because I'd like to know when I'm making, damn it, jumps like that where now I can't go back. You are about to enter the next level, be sure to save your game. It is weird that both of those were the exact same. Wait a minute, this level looks awful familiar. I'm gonna save those other sodas just in case. feeling I'm going to be getting the uh, jump boots in this level. Come on, guy. love to get another gun. And this... Alright, uh, this would be a good time... Yeah, to pick up those sodas again. Going to attempt to save that. Atomic health for the future. Ah, oh, shit. Nope. Oh. Green key. One more jump back and then I can take, yeah, more dynamite. seems to be just points. And then there's the, where the key needs to be again. Damn it all. Alright. Uh... 
double damage. Now might be a decent time for that atomic health. I'm kind of surprised I didn't take any damage there. Or there. Ooh, dynamite. Hey! Green key, just what I was hoping for. That might be why that arrow was pointing up there. I really would like to have another gun. More balloons, but no more guns. Sometimes the game just doesn't fire as quickly as you would really like it to. That spikes. You know, I don't need balloons, I need weapon. Uh, this was just points, but it's also a quick way to get back down. And that was the key. That's probably where you go down. Gun. Dynamite. Alright, hint, you will need to find your super jump boots on the next level. Save in slot number two. Very good to have some turkey. From the looks... Ah, damn it. From the looks of all the... Um, things with the metal undersides there. I'll take that, because I don't know if I'm ever coming back to this section. Um, 
Uh, what was I saying? Yes, from the looks of all the metal undersides to things. Damn it. It looks like uh, I will also be getting the grapple hook thing in this level, maybe. There's the jump boots, at least. Damn it. Damn it. Come on. Hemorrhaging health due to those uh, robot guys. It's gonna be a little more careful with how I deal with them. Despite being a platformer game, the platforming in this game is not really some of the best. What is up to this side? I think that was the E I just picked up. Proving that maybe Duke Nukem can spell, but I can't. Oh, I barely got my feet under that one. power-ups. Well, not in that box. Or in that box. I jump into that one? Why did I shoot that soda? Uh, funny how a trip into the future of Earth looks a lot like going into the past. Hint, look for the time transport machine to help you solve the next level. Well, that hint will have to wait for next time because I am all out of time for this video. So as always, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.